In this video, we are going to see an application of the distance formula. We will also see an application of normalization. So this is a real example, admittedly simplified for the classroom. And it comes from the field of natural language processing. And the question that we are trying to answer is mathematically how do we measure how similar to documents are. And the answer to that question is that similar documents should use similar vocabulary. I'm intentionally leaving it vague what similar means here. It could mean a lot of different things depending on the context. For example, two documents could be similar if they were written at about the same time. And to try to get a handle on that, you could look at the slang terms that those documents use. Slang words fall in and out of favor. So if two documents use the same slang words, they were probably written at a similar time. So in this example, we'll call documents similar if they are in the same or at least in related genres. So if two works are in the same genre, it makes sense that they'd use similar vocabulary words. I mean, if you pick up two mysteries, you're probably going to see suspects and alibi and murder and words like that used frequently. And this motivates tying this back to linear algebra, the idea of a doctor document vector. So you pick words 
and you pick words that you think are important. In this case, by important, we mean that they should be genre signifiers. So like a fantasy, a romance, a sci-fi novel, we'll all use words like the and she. Those words aren't telling us anything. So we pick words that we think will act as genre signifiers, like suspect and murder and detective. If we see those words over and over again, we've probably got a mystery. And we simply count them and store the number of times they appear in a vector. And we're going to look at some examples of document vectors. And in particular, we'll look at three plays by William Shakespeare as you like it, a twelfth night. and Henry the fifth. And these plays are comedies. Henry the fifth is a history and that specify that it's a martial history. It takes place in a time of war. And let's try to use the tools of linear algebra to verify that because these plays are both comedies, they're more similar to each other in a measurable way than they are to Henry the Fifth. So we'll try to pick some words that will act as genre signifiers. And the words we pick are these. Henry the Fifth is a history taking place during war time. So probably the words battle and soldier will occur. And these are comedies. We are going to select fool and clown as words that might show up 
frequently in comedies. And then we simply go through these three plays and we count the number of times these words appear. So here are the three document vectors for As You Like It, Twelfth Night, and Henry the Fifth. So for example, in As You Like It, battle appears once, soldier twice, fool 37 times, clown five times. And now we ask the question, how do we measure how similar the plays are. And the quest the answer to that question is that we've defined the distance between two vectors. So we can very literally measure how far away these plays are from each other versus, for example, how far as you like it is from Henry the Fifth. And I'll do this off camera, as it were. When we do disaster, as you like it, then Twelfth Night are both comedies. They're supposed to be similar to one another, whereas they're supposed to be different from Henry V, which is a martial history. When we compute the distances, that's very much not what we find. The comedy, as you like it, is a lot closer to the history, Henry V, than it is to the other comedy. What's going on here? Maybe, I mean, it seems like a good idea, maybe comedy just isn't a good choice of genres. I mean, compared to something like a mystery or a history, there aren't funny words that show up repeatedly in comedies. And that might be partly it, but it's not to the real issue. The real issue we are running into here is that one of these document vectors is significantly longer than the other. If you look at As You Like It and Twelfth Night, their lengths are both in the upper 30s. Sorry, if you look at As You Like It and Henry the Fifth, those are both in the upper 30s. If you look at the length of the twelfth night vector, it's about 130.6. So we have 
one really long vector and then two much shorter vectors. And remember that the distance between two vectors is the distance between the tips. So of course the long vector is going to be far away from everything. This isn't telling us anything except that Twelfth Night is a particularly long vector compared to the other two. And here's where normalization comes into play. If the problem here is caused by one vector being much longer than the others, the solution should be to scale them until they're each the same size. Remember that we can create unit vectors, we can normalize. If we take a vector and divide it by its norm. Now our unit vectors all have the same length. And if some of them are far away from the others, it's not simply because we're seeing something like that. If one of the vectors is far away from the others, it's because it's genuinely quite different from the others. And if we now recompute the lengths, the distance between the normalized as you like it, vector, and the normalized twelfth night vector. Let me see, is about point nine four seven. Well, the distance between the normalized as you like it to vector and the normalized Henry the fifth vector. is about 1.28. And this is what we expected to see. The comedies are closer to each other than this comedy is to the history. And it doesn't seem to be in my notes but the distance between the normalized twelfth night vector and the normalized Henry the fifth vector is also one point something about 
So the comedies are closer to each other than they are to the martial history, which is what we would hope happens. In this video, we looked at an example of distance. I'll say again, this example is rather simplified. For example, if you were doing this for real, it's possible to weigh words. So if you want one word to be more important than another word, there are ways of making that happen. I enjoy this example, however, as an application of linear algebra to a field where you might not instinctively think that mathematics has much of a place. 